Welcome back to Muscle in the Morning. I'm Dave Palumbo, and today is Thursday, March 5th, 2020. And let's find out what's going on in the world of bodybuilding and fitness. In a few days, the world will have its second ever Arnold Classic Physique Champion. And if you've spent any time following Alex Cabernero's prep so far, you know that he's as likely as anyone to be the last man standing. In the few updates that I've managed to get my hands on, Alex looked like he was right where he needed to be from a conditioning standpoint. Couple that with the fact that he has one of the best tapers in the entire division, and now you've got a secret sauce for your championship recipe. When the margin for error is this thin, things can always go either way, but I'm not even sure if I see it being a factor here. If he's dialed in, Alex should be a lock for a top three finish. I was watching the 72 Most Dangerous Animals in Asia on Netflix with my kids a few nights ago before bedtime, and it always blows my mind how deadly some of these snakes are. But even those Asian vipers would have a hard time giving Steve Kuklo a run for his money. Steve's conditioning might be the best I've ever seen, which could be a huge factor in this lineup with this level of depth. These are the moments when I like to advise people to play to their strengths, and that's exactly what Steve's doing right now. This will be one of those shows where the devil will be in the details, so if he's the most detailed guy on stage, it makes it really hard for him to be ignored. People like to say that absence makes the heart grow fonder in relationships, but we live in a weird world where we're always connected, so I don't know how true that is anymore. But even if he hasn't been MIA, it's still been a while since Sean Roden's been on a bodybuilding stage, and I'm sure that absence has to be tugging on his heartstrings. Even though he's not competing, Sean's been keeping in shape, and he's still training with the same regularity with the squad out at Gold's Venice. Hopefully the extended rest has given his body a chance to heal, so once he does have the green light, it gives the world a chance to remember what Flexitron at its finest really looks like. When I was growing up, I remember my grandma saying to me, you better slow yourself down before life steps in and does it for you. And unfortunately for Joel Thomas, it looks like this time life might have won the battle. A few days ago, Joel announced that it was in all likelihood he was done for the season after suffering a torn peck. I don't know what's going on in the 2020 year, but it seems like Joel is the fourth or fifth guy who's torn a peck already this year, which is crazy because we're only in early March. But to Joel's credit, he's taking the whole thing in like a champ and not getting all caught up in the whole, oh, woe is me nonsense. And assuming that rehab stays on schedule, hopefully we can see him back on stage next summer at the Tampa Pro. <laughs> And that does it for yet another edition of Muscle in the Morning. I'm Dave Palumbo reminding you to always be true to your passions. And make sure to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram.